the band. But that's what I was playing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> this next song, uh, um, Glenn Gray, 17-year-old boy, and he lived in a, a small town outside of New York called Casaloma. So he called his group Grin, Glenn Gray and his Casaloma Orchestra. And it, it caught on, and he lasted for about 25 years. He never had a theme song. His piano player was named Gene Gifford. So in 1937, he, uh, he thought he'd write a uh, theme song for the, for the uh, band, because they actually, in the 1930s, they had their own radio show. Now, no one actually knew what uh, uh, Glenn Gray looked like, because he was a chain smoker. He always had a cigarette smoke <laughs> around his head. <laughs> See what he looks like. So uh, I guess uh, uh, Gene Glifford took the piss out of him by writing a song called Smoke Rings. <laughs> True. Uh, but Glenn Gray loved it. He loved it. He didn't realize the guy was making fun of him. Uh, and he used that for the, for the next five or six years while he was still on top. Smoke Rings by Glenn Gray and his Casalum Orchestra. <laughs>